the 5th century BC, Pythagoras taught three levels of harmonic music. One, the music of the inner self, or body of a person, as the musica humana. Two, he taught the music of human-made instruments as instrumentalis. And three, the music of the spheres, planets, stars, and the cosmos as musica mundana. The music of the humana or human body is the basis for how the human living instrument can be tuned to allow it to harmonize with the great spheres of nature, the planets, the stars, and the cosmos so that it could expand its awareness to experience it and receive wisdom and knowledge from the heavens beyond earth. In order to get the human instrument to expand its small sphere of consciousness, humans made musical instruments that are tuned to various music scales. The goal was to find the perfect scale to tune the listener so that they too might have an experience of expansive cosmic heavenly peace. Beethoven wrote the Ninth Symphony while he was completely deaf to human sound, but completely absorbed in the music of his ability to hear beyond the human ear into realms of Pythagorean music of the spheres. Historically, music scales have evolved from three, six, and seven tones to the point of today's twelve tones of the modern chromatic scale with the possibility of eight octaves of the same 12 tones. Musical instruments are tuned to a perfection that equals an actual mathematical frequency range for all 12 notes of the chromatic scale. If we listen to an ascending set of tones based on perfect frequencies for each of the 12 tones, we can hear that when played together, they audibly distort or wobble in the space between them. This audible distortion is subtle, but it rules the background of all music written to these scales. If we revert back to seven notes of just a pure A, B, C, D, E, F, G, removing B flat, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp, and play these ascending tones, they have no harmonic perfection at all. There is clear distortion. It is believed that a more ancient music scale existed that was more perfect and the search for a more perfect scale has driven music theorists mad. This is because the more tones you have in a music scale, the more difficult it is to make them harmonic with no distortion between the notes. Solfeggio is one such ancient scale believed to have been so pure and so ancient it was used by Gregorian monks to tone and unite their spirit with God. The problem lies in the actual frequencies as numbers for the solfeggio tones themselves. The interpretation of solfeggio tone scale also distorts This means that the ancient Gregorian monks may not have actually used these numbers as tones to unite with God, but something more pure, yet undiscovered. What if we have not found their law scale, but merely theorized that we have? To build a perfect scale based on the golden ratio, we would have C at 521.00191 Hz. When we hear seven phi tones, there is no harmonic distortion between the tones.
What a miracle it seems. But some of the leaps and tones have huge missing tonal ranges. True Phi is a natural harmonic scale, and surprisingly no one has used it as a music scale that we know of. There is still a more comprehensive scale missing. When David Sarita did the math on the Great Pyramid of Egypt as a giant crystal oscillator, he found a clue. The answer came when he found the 5151 ruled the Great Pyramid, the square of the circle, Phi, and the Ark of the Covenant. In Greek numerology, 5-1 means Kithara, or ancient harp. This clue led David Sarita on a quest to see if 5151 was a number in the most ancient music scale. 515.1 is lower C, which makes it close enough to build a whole scale upon. But what would the other numbers be, and how many notes would there be on this scale? When he did the math, David Sarita found this to be a 10-tone scale. The only evidence of a 10-string instrument in the Bible comes in the book of Psalms 92.3. It reveals the 10-string lyre. Could this evidence from the Bible book of Psalms reveal an ancient harp whose ten strings were tuned to a forgotten ten-note music scale of God? When David Sarita did the math, he used his signal tone generator to play all ten tones, and they play with no distortion between each note. There is no other music scale that does this. Because there are 10 tones, this music scale can reach an infinite amount of octaves that rise in perfect decimal series towards infinity. Could this be the lost scale of the ancients that was used to activate the light body, the musica humana, that Pythagoras was in search of? These are the base tones that will activate your light body. To get an e-brochure about how to participate in quantum regenesis, write David Sarita at Outlook.com today.